the village planning mode or the village planning method of operation is, is that the council says to the community, what would you like to see in your patch? And the community then develop their own plan, which the council eventually sign off on. Welcome to you all for our annual Residents Association meet and greet and discuss workshop. The one that sort of provided the biggest difficulty because it involved so many different people with so many different points of view is the beach and the beach management plan and that's sort of now in its final version. Well the visions really come from all the ideas and all the hard work really from all the residents over time when the village plan was made and then that's um, formed into the beach management plan and then an offshoot of that now is the work that's being done what's actually starting today which is really exciting. A feature walkway which goes complements the beach walk um, end to end. Tatahi Bay is one of the gems of the Wellington region really, it's quite a sheltered bay, it's a classic horseshoe and you can see by the amount of activity it's well loved. We started in 2004 with street meetings. We live in paradise, we've got this absolutely wonderful foreshore. What are we going to do about the street furniture? The seats are currently being built. There are row upon row of beautiful different individual seats. Building stronger communities is actually, I think, what this is about. I'm the project manager for the Plymouth Railway Station Restoration. So all we have to offer is basically our labour, and that's what we've done. I've learned a lot of stuff down here, just mainly because of the old fellows that's come down. So in 2008, we had a community meeting once again to revitalise the area. People think that we are so separated and so different, but really we're not. We've got different cultures but we're enhancing those tortures. This one here, this one here, this Waitangaroo one here. is not a bad place. It's an excellent place. It's the community input. Um, everyone had expressions of what they would like to see or how they would like it. What drives me to do all this is actually the community. I'm basically serving the community to bring out the best I can. We also have um, a beautiful landscaped area now that used to be a car park, so I always think of Joni Mitchell when I think of what happened with Kukera Bay. We turned a car park into paradise. Village planning helps us to keep the process going so that we can take actions. We want something that fits in with the environment, that, that fits with our vision for Pukitera Bay. And for instance, the skate park, which um, has been upgraded. We wrote up a petition and put that all around Kukura Bay and got people to sign up. And then we took it to the Residents Association, showed them, and then the council donated some money and we did some fundraising. We helped design the park, got all the measurements and stuff, and like looked at all the final designs to make sure it was what we wanted. It's good. It's probably one of the best around. We need the support from the local people, and we such a we have such a huge diversity of ethnics in Cannons Creek. We need to study and become involved with the village project. 14,000 people in Porirua uh, that are Pacific, we would look at about 3,000 going on to four. No violence, no fizzy drinks, smoke free, alcohol free. We have youth programs and we provide volleyball and we also um, monitor everybody we actually offer uh, free screening to all of these people because they are not going to the doctors, we try and catch them at these events. I'm dedicated to be the community person rather than the council person, although I have the links to the council. But uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the important document that I work on is the village plan.